Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here about 10 pounds lighter. And now, Brad. Oh, yeah. Brad is back. Sorry. He was wandering the great abyss. He went to go pay the rent at the RV park. And then he was walking around. Um, and when he went to go pay the rent, no complaints about the dogs or anything. No, that's all good. Our neighbors are really good. And we don't let them bark. You know, any longer than, you know. And we never did, even in Wyoming. Um, but, yeah, you guys know what that's like when you take your water pills. And I had the choice. It's like, I can either keep talking to these guys and just wet myself. Or <laughs> I can do two parts today. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I didn't have any little swimmers on or anything. So, I said, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, Brad went to go get the mail and the two long we ordered uh, for the shop vac because we're using shop vac. We don't have that much carpet exposed here in the RV because like I said, we use the clear uh, carpet runners. Um, you know, it got the little teeth on the back. In fact, we just bought, we needed one more. We just bought one more. Uh, they're just like this. Um, yeah, they're vinyl carpet runners. So we use this down the entire length of the RV uh, so we just have the edges basically to vacuum and then something gets spilled you can just wipe it off the, the carpet runner um, or uh, you know if the dogs come in they don't come in with muddy paws because there's sand here but if they were to or something then we just wipe the vinyl off so uh, yeah we just use a shop vac um, and but it has a short hose and that's a back killer and uh, so we ordered um, the couldn't find them locally so we ordered the the harder extension hoses those came in today and then I told you guys I had ordered a tablet last week um, at, with deferred payments until September and this tablet was on sale for 200 I think it's like 250 you know uh, with uh, uh, you know, you charge, pay a little bit more. No, it was 200, 230, with because it's deferred payment. Um, but anyway, so it's this digital two, and it's got. We ordered this one specifically because it does have a um, uh, the Windows 8 because we loathe Windows 10. Now I know a lot of people like it, but we don't. Um, and uh. It, uh, you know, it's got 32 gigabytes, and you can update it to 64. It's got a detachable keyboard, etc. And, you know, because Brad's, Brad's laptop is not, I know somebody said, uh, messaged me so nicely and said that, you know, she thought her husband could probably, or her boyfriend could probably fix my husband's laptop. It's not a point of fixing it because if it was a point of fixing it, he can do a lot of the maintenance and fixing on a laptop. It's just so old. It's so old and stuff that some of the new new programs and stuff won't work on the system. And um, you know, uh, we've been wanting a tablet anyway. We've been watching prices for quite a while. And uh, this is a 10 inch, which is nice because, um, you know, my husband's eyesight especially is, is not good and uh, hasn't been ever since I've known him. Uh, so he is, uh, he is um, charging it as we speak and playing with it. And um, uh, I think it'll be a good thing. And so, but we got that in and... Um, uh, <laughs> He's playing, maybe. And then, I got the most wonderful gift in, and I almost cried. A friend of mine, Miss Deet Martin, you know who you are, and she's the one who sent me my first ever Sinwood and my only Sinwood loom. Uh, oh, what, about maybe three months ago, maybe? I don't know. And with some yarn, wonderful, beautiful yarn and stuff. And I love this Sinwood. It was the only one I, you know, first one I've ever had. Love it and stuff. Well, and she told me last week that she was sending me a package, honey. And it was a, she goes, I just want you to know I'm sending it because um, uh, 
I think you'll know who it was from anyway. Well, what she bought me and sent me was this um, universal Sinwood loom for hats and scarves. And what is neat about it, I, if you guys have seen it, it is a 15-inch, uh, 64-peg, half-inch space. Is what it means by uh, universal is this inner part here. You see this? It slides. So if you want to make a baby hat, you know, or whatever you're making. And this is the first time I've gotten anything from Sinwood directly. So this is thank you, Dee, so much. I almost cried. I cherish this. This, you teared up. I did tear up. This really means a lot, and I just, I just love you to pieces. Um, thank you so much. I just, I can, can't say enough about. And then they send this, they send this uh, thing, and it says, "This is a gift for a dear friend." And then it comes with. Um, for your universal loom and if you had an 8 gauge loom or a 5 8 gauge but then it tells you um, how many pegs you would need to use like uh, for a newborn slipper you would use 14 to 15 uh, for a child for the hats um, and everything so that is just wonderful you know, it even has the adult hat, honey, and the adult large hat. So, like, you know, Brad's got a bigger head than I do. And, uh, you know, so that is super. And then it even comes with, Sinwood even sends you, and like I said, I've never ordered from them, so I didn't know. It sends you some different, different, uh, like your basic e-wrap, like if you were new to this. Your fig figure eight. Now, I have never done a figure eight. Um, I know that uh, Dina had, had done a video on it, so I'm going to try that, but like for the figure eight. And then they also send with it, they send you a pin, which is cool. Or no, this isn't a pin. This is, well, you know how I was using the, the straws there for a while, hun, to, to do, and that's what this is. Is, is, is by Sinwood, but it's, it's, a, it's like an empty pin. And then they also send you a loom hook in with your order with a grippy and stuff. So that's that's really neat. But thank you again, Dee. That is just, I'm excited to play with that. I'm going to have to finish up this one hat I got going on so I, I can play with this because I really love this feature, how it, how it slides. I mean, that's super. That's cool. Instead of having to buy, and I didn't know they even made this, and I've been over to the over to the loom site uh, drooling, and I thought, man, I can't afford to get get you know the ones that has all the different like the the sets where they have the newborn hat and the child's hat and stuff, because you know they're really expensive, and um, I mean they're worth it because because they have good product, but. I love the universal one. It's a space saver, especially in an RV or if you're in a small home, whatever. And I just love this. I can tell I'm probably only going to be using the two Sinwoods that Deed is giving me now. You know, I may be able to put those other, probably put those other looms up now, hun. <clears throat> I won't need them. The reason I wanted those looms is I had to do a smaller size hat for the popcorn stitch hats I'm doing right now. That's why I was so frantic to find those other looms. I would much prefer prefer to use the thin one. He's like I he's he's sitting here nicely listening to me prattle on, even though I know he's dying to play with his tablet. He's such a nice man. Well, Don't it, tell him. I'm that. thinking about all the hours I spent looking for. <laughs> And I'm like, if you can't find them, I'm going to have to buy new ones. And I'm like, then I'm going to have to go and buy just the, the plastic ones. And don't get me wrong. I've made some beautiful things on a plastic loom, and they still serve their purpose. So I'm not cutting down anybody that has the plastic loom. But if you get a chance ever to work with the Sinwood, even if you have a friend locally that you maybe could borrow one to just do even a hat to see if you like it, 
I find that what my friend Dina and so many other people have said, the thin wood is really nice. I know, and I really, really love these um, oblong ones because for me, they're easier to work on. They're not as bulky and stuff, and they're easier to work on. So, but it's like, okay, honey. <laughs> well, it's like when I when I was uh, selling cars, I'd start talking to you about the the I know. and your eyes kind of glaze over. And, I know. Yeah. Yes. Well, you just you have your tablet now. See, this was a perfect day, deep for this to come because Brad Man got his tablet in. Yep. And it will primarily be his, you know. The yeah, other will be times he'll be working on this laptop, you know, for doing something like needing to print out forms and stuff because the printer's right up here in front. Um, and I think that this probably this laptop will probably end up staying right here where it's located, um, uh, just kind of as a workstation. And then we have the tablet. I'm gonna go to the pavilion. Mm -hmm. Because I can't get hooked up to you. Okay. Yeah. And normally I would wait till later until I get but it. But you can't handle it. But I can't handle it. So. Okay. But um, yeah. So that made my day. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna be playing with that stuff now. I'm gonna finish up this hat because I I do like to not have projects multiple projects going unless they're big projects. Then sometimes I'll start a smaller one too. Um. And uh, this was a great day, too, because we're kind of having a, where we're kind of taking it easier today, because uh, we're in a clean house and stuff tomorrow. You know, yeah. love you. <laughs> He's just excited to go, you know. I wouldn't be too surprised if he doesn't end up going sitting by the office if he can't they get a signal. I and, think I get a really good signal. You know, million. but um, uh, well, if not, you can go sit in the back of the pool where those tables are. Yeah. You'll yeah, definitely but, get a good signal yeah, there. Yeah, I don't think they have a uh, plug in. Oh, I don't know. Um, but, um, so, that's what we're going to be doing. One of the things I wanted to kind of talk about is, um, one of the things about living the RV lifestyle is, um, bye honey, love you, is one of the things that you find is that you, um, if you in our case anyway if you have animals and stuff you are constantly on the go i mean because we have dogs so naturally the dogs have to go outside so we are constantly on a the go they've got to go outside at least three to four times a day and since there are four of them it usually it takes both of us now brad can do it himself um especially because uh, now that we've got the kennel set up. But I like to go out and help. But you do get very tired because there's not much downtime. And you would be surprised it actually takes more um, sometimes uh, in a smaller space. Because, you know, if you're going to get to something of your craft, you may have to move three, four things to get to that one, one box. So, um... You know, that's taking some adjustment. And sometimes late at night, you're like, I'm so tired. I mean, because we don't most, if it, if we're lucky, we finish up with all of our chores by 9 o'clock at night. Um, you know, and I think that's why we end up staying up a little bit later, too. Because, um, you know, you got to do last call with the dogs. And then with our toilet and stuff, we have to, he has to carry the bottom case. And this would. The newer, newer toilet is much nicer because you can carry it just like you would a suitcase. Empty it over in the dump station and stuff. Um, you know, so uh, all that takes a while. You know, uh, I got, you know, I end up pulling out my bed. But the main thing is the dog in and out. You get tired of, you know, gotta go do this, gotta go do that. Uh, the good thing is, is it does make you be a lot more active i mean i don't have a choice i i there's no way I, I could just sit all day and not do anything now because you know otherwise i'm going to have exploding animals <laughs> you know kind of like you know those giga pets were well, they called giga pets tamagotchis or something remember i mean 20 years ago i know my girls had some and they were just a little egg-shaped little thing that you would they would press a button and if they didn't clean up the poop soon enough or feed them soon enough 
and stuff, they would die on the screen. One time, my kids are in junior high. We both had about four or five of them, right? Leave them all with me. Oh, mom will babysit these. They were dying on me. I forgot, you know, I'm doing housework and stuff, and I come back and oh, crap. didn't clean it up. That one died. This one died. They were not happy with me when they got home from school because their pets had died. <coughs> but, um, uh, so yeah, you do end up being a lot more active, you know. But that's good. That's good. I'm so relieved that they didn't have any complaints about our animals, our dogs, or anything. So, you know, um, you know, because you, you worry about that. So, and it was only 34 something for the electricity for the month, you know, which isn't bad because, <clears throat> you know, we're home most of the time and we have the AC going all the time. Like right now, I have it on high because um, it's, it's, it's a humid day. And, um, that's another thing, thank goodness for my best friend, Dina, because when I was talking about us half, maybe half of living in a tent, she told me, and, and I know she may be worried about, maybe I was, she was going to offend me, but she's like, honey, you don't want to live without air conditioning, trust me. She said, I know that you're not from the South, you don't understand how humid it is, and stuff. she said, if, if you can, if you can any way possible you can get something with air conditioning please try to do that she was concerned about our our well-being and stuff and thank goodness because i did take it to heart and thank goodness we were able to get the rv and stuff because yeah it would be and i know people do it it's very hard as humid as it is without air conditioning so um i'm excited like i said thank you thank you Thank you again, Deet, for this wonderful gift. I don't know how I'm ever going to repay you, but I will find a way. Um, this is just awesome. You know, I just love this. You know, talk about just, this is perfect for the RV. This is perfect. You know, so I love it. Thank you. I'm excited. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. That's all we really got going on today. I'm excited to get off here and um, face that hat because I'm dying to play with this loom. You know, I've been wanting to make some newborn hats. And quite frankly, I did not really have a loom small enough for the really the super newborn hats and stuff. And I've been wanting to do more things like that. So that's super. Thank you again. But I hope everybody's having a great day. And I hope that you're safe warm and cool wherever you are um oh we did plant the mint and the lavender last night the english lavender so i'll let you guys know how that go um we're excited about that too and um tomatoes are doing great and um remember that i love you guys and i think and i cherish all of your friendship so much and it's not it you know it's not because uh some of my friends uh, send me things, I mean, or anything. I love your, I love you guys, whether or not you send me things or you even send me a, you know, you send me a postcard or you even send me a, or you drop me a message or a comment. I, I love you guys to death. You guys really have enriched my life. And I feel very blessed to have all of you in it. And without all that gooeyness, I still think you're awesome, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.